venom. Nothing can just help. Look, see him? That's the sound. Starting with a tank. Hey guys, David Fine from Keys Mods. Here in Helen, Georgia, uh, night two of our vacation, family vacation with some friends and family. We got to, we're here at the cabin out in the mountains and it is gorgeous, guys. But mothing has been not been the best because you see that big bright thing in the sky behind me that's a full moon so uh, if you're ever planning moth trips don't do it on a full moon but guys I've got a sheet here there are a bunch of moths on it and I'm going to show you what we found in the mountains in Helen, Helen Georgia um, this summer so uh, give me a thumbs up like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, see if you can click the bell and make that moon go away because I would really appreciate it collecting moths uh, or hunting for moths on a full moon is no bueno. So, uh, guys, let's go explore and see what we got. That's brutality right there. Look. Right, guys we got our first tulip tree silk moth you don't want to cooperate that's for sure and we got a katakala flying in man black katakala we got several katakala here katakalas 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 all right guys i just got a big female imperial moth and what I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually going to go to bed right now. And there's a Promethea, no, tulip tree floating around there. But what I'm going to do right now, guys, I am actually going to put her in a um, in an envelope alive. She's going to lay some eggs. I'm going to go to sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to take a few eggs and let her go. That's the plan, guys. Beautiful, big imperial moth, female imperial. So, uh, I'd love to raise these guys. It's been a long time. We're gonna try again. All right, guys. Night two, Helen, Georgia. Uh, we've got clear skies and that bright, bright full moon. I woke up at six in the morning to come out and check the sheet. And, um, I don't think the skies were always this clear, guys, because everything's wet, so it must have rained. But I want to take you guys on a little tour of the sheet. And just let's see, let's see what we got. Here. Let's see. All right, that's a cool notodonic. I'm all about that. Look at that. You know, I was never a big fan of Nonadonis until I started my Keys Mars project. And then I started to really gain an appreciate, appreciation for them. I mean, they're fresh, and they really are pretty. Look at the greens in this thing. I'm not sure what species this is, but it's a beautiful model. It's a beautiful model. Got our little Hebrew moth, our ever-present Hebrew moth. Now, these Katakala underwings, I really wish they weren't so skittish. Because you try to show them the underwing, and they get, they just, they just fly immediately. Let's see what happens. Red, black, not uh, black. Uh, she proved me wrong. She didn't fly immediately. In fact, she's hanging. Look at that. Cool. Alright. I love these guys. Air condition just went on. Sorry about that. Um, Hell Sedota. Sink the peas. 
Ah, uh, what else we got? There's a knock to it. Is that an underwing? Or is it? Nope. No, that guy's docile right there. Not an underwing. If it were an underwing, it would have flown. <laughs> but, um, pretty moth. Look at that camouflage on that thing. A gorgeous moth. There's another note of greens, the grays and the greens and the browns all mixed in together. That's one camouflage bug. Speaking of camouflage bugs, look at that noted on it. I love how this, these guys fold their wings in such a way that it looks like a stick. They fold their wings around their abdomen when they're resting. Thick, it's pretty cool. All right, let's see. What else we got? Peekaboo! What are you doing? I want to be on Key's Mom's. What are you? <laughs> Another noted donut. Different one, too. There's a lot of noted donut species up here, guys. Here's another pine sphinx. We saw pine sphinx from, from last night. Let's see. Okay, we have Globrosa. Another note of it. Another note of it. Let's see. Uh, look at this geometric. Sorry, there's not a whole lot of big, big moths. I mean, we've got an Imperial here. And then this guy, I forget what they're called. Very cool wing shape. Look how they like stick their little butt up in the air. Oh, there's another black attack. I know so because of the underwing. You can see the underside there a little bit. I'm sorry I don't know my Katakula species names, but uh, I'll work on those. Check this guy out. Little greeny. Another imperial down there. Chilling. Oh, that's cool. That one's cool. I always love rosy maples. As common as rosy maples are, they never get old. When they're fresh, that is a stunning, stunning moth. There is nothing ugly or boring about the rosy maple moth. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous creature. Gorgeous creature, that is. Another imperial. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of big stuff here, guys. The rain must have killed me. Along with the uh, full moon. got a yellow hind wing. But they don't like to be touched. Watch. Yeah, well, 
if he can get on top of one. So guys, these little, these little hornets, they come, and they come and they, are those yellow jackets or are they just hornets? I don't know what they are. Some kind of hymenoptera. They come in the morning and they hunt for moths. And what they'll do is they'll sting the moth, paralyze it, chew the wing, chew the wings off. See, he just tried to go for them. They, they like the smaller moths. Dude, you just missed, man. Swing and miss. Look. Oh, he was... See him? Yeah. There he is. This guy's doing it right now. Oh, yeah. So, this moth guy, this rosy maple moth, has fallen victim to this wasp. And what he's doing now is chewing the wings off. While pumping the body full of venom. Oh, here comes his help. Oh, they're just eating. They're just eating away, man. That is, uh, brutality. That's brutality right there, man. Okay, so he's not even flying away with them. He's just, he's just eating them right here. He's just eating them, starting with his head. Oh, this one did take the window. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, so this is this is the classic. They chew the wings off. And once all the wings are gone, they fly away with the body. There he goes. That's awesome, man. <laughs> That's like the Nature Channel yeah, right yeah, here. The National Geographic Channel. National Geographic right here, baby. Um, I wouldn't bank on that. Ouch. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, this guy's got ants. And the wasps. He's having a bad day. All right, guys, so um, it is what it is. There are some cool bugs, some underwing mods, which I always love. Uh, but guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit the bell for notifications. So when we post videos, you'll get notified. And give me a thumbs up. Guys, uh, it is a full moon, not the best, but it is gorgeous out here and we're having a great time. 